Hello everyone, let's go today. Today our question is Lico 362 design heat counter. Uh, this is a very frequent Google interview question. As we can see, Wu has asked this for 10 times over the past half year. Um, so this question is about to design a heat counter which counts the number of hits received in the past five minutes and each function accept the time step parameter in seconds and the calls are made to the system in a chronological order which means the it's monotonically increasing and also it is possible that several hits arrive at the same time right so let's look at this example so first we create a new class a new hit counter and then we hit at time step one by doing this, right? And we, we can also hit at time step two and get that like this. So after we use hit, we can use get hits here, right? So get hits can, um, if we call it, we can return the uh, number of hits received in the past five minutes, which is 300 seconds, right? <clears throat> so for here, since we have, um, since we have uh, when we get hits four because we have one two three so it returns three, and then we get a hit right, and then we uh, get hits at time three hundred, and then we uh, we return four because we have another one here, right. So if we get hits at time step three or one, then the interval of this past five minutes is from actually two to three or one right that's why it has only three instead of four because this one has already been out of the interval okay so let's look at the solution here so since we are talking about the past five minutes so we are thinking about uh, the, the structure called Q because that's first in first out and we want we only want to remain the current the latest five minutes or latest three hundred second, right? So first we uh, uh in Python it's called the DAC DQ, and um, then we need we need like because we we're interested in the uh, number of hits here, and also we have to remain a queue to store all the time steps, right? That's why we keep a young constructor here. We build two attributes one is number of hits which is just an integer and another is time hits which is a q and then for the hit function the input is the time step whenever we call it we we record a hit right so in that case if it's not a so when the time hits when this q is empty or the last element is not time step so that means because we are, uh, it's arriving in a chronological order. So if the last one is not the current time step, then all of them shouldn't be right. So in that case, we should create a new time hits in the queue. Otherwise, we just add one number to the to the last one because it has already occurred before. And of course, we add the add one to the low to the global time hits here, number of hits here. And for get hits, so there are several things to consider. One is um, we only consider the past five minutes, right? So in that case, we use the queue, right? So while this, this queue is not empty, and also the uh, current time step minus the first time hits, is smaller or equal to 300 then we uh, just delete the the out of range part right because we are only considering or interested in the the recent 300 seconds and after we do this manipulation we can return the uh, number of hits which is the uh, global variable we continue right we we remain um, so yeah, this question we mainly use this Q um, data structure 
and uh, it's kind of design problem so you have to make sure like um, everything is working properly and for the time complexity uh, this function because we only record a hit so it's a big old one it's a constant time and for get hit here uh, the worst case scenario is big O n and n is the length of time hits right because we every time we do this pop it's a O n manipulation uh, that's it for this problem if you think this video helps please like and subscribe my channel thanks for watching